Hey guys, Kenny with Ugly Tent. I'm way out of my element, if you can't tell. I'm at a campground, and I am car camping. Um, I had a conference to go to for three days, and I decided instead of getting a hotel room, that I would uh, camp out of my vehicle. I have camped in many different scenarios, under tarps, under uh, ponchos and tents, you name it, but I've never camped out of my vehicle, like a bug out vehicle. So I wanted to see if I could bug out for three days in my vehicle. So let me show you what I've got first. So anybody that knows me knows that this mess here is freaking me out. <laughs> I can't stand not to be organized. So, uh, but I slept in here last night, and I slept at a at a diagonal because this is a very small SUV. This is a, uh, I think it's considered mid-sized, maybe, I, I don't think it's small, but anyway, I'm 5'9", and I barely fit in here diagonal. Let me put the seat all the way up and see if I can lay on one side tonight and put my stuff on the other side. I mean, everything is working out as, as far as it's supposed to. As far as the, um, there we go. I mean, here the interstate behind me too. This was supposed to be a campground. Um, you know, the website talked about how secluded and nice it is, and um, you know all that jazz to sell me. So I drove four hours to this campsite, and uh, I don't want to say I'm disappointed. I guess I'm just spoiled from wild camping. You know. Anyway. So I just got back from um, class from the seminar. I got two more days of classes. But I'm going to go ahead and try to reconfigure my bug out vehicle and see what I can do with it. So thanks for coming along. The screen's for privacy. That way people out there can't see me as well. It helps a little bit. I know it's all uh, a false sense of security, but anything you can do to make yourself more comfortable. So I've got it set up a little better. I'm gonna try sleeping this way tonight, and I'll put all my gear on this side, which it's all fitting in there pretty well. Um, not used to <clears throat> car camping. I probably packed too much, but the thing, the thing is, I had to. I have to go to class during the day, so I have to have my. Uh, casual clothes, not dress clothes, but casual clothes during the day and get ready for all that. And then my camping gear, my camping clothes, and my video uh, YouTube stuff. So this vehicle, as small as it is, is way overpacked. I've got too much in here. But this is my first attempt at the bugging out in the vehicle. I did bring my Eureka tent in case I wanted to sleep in the tent. Um, I slept good in this last night. Is the, you know, I really, I slept really well. I just, um, Everything's in disarray, and it bothers me. But it's starting to look better. I'll show you how I got my little kitchen set up. Uh, this is, again, my first attempt at the at the uh, bug out vehicle, the BOV. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to get a bigger vehicle down the road to do this in if I do more of it. And I also I looked at the uh, <coughs> see, <laughs> and I looked at I also looked at um, the tents the. Uh, uh, Rooftop tents, you know, you put on top of the roof and open it up. Really, really cool stuff, but man, they're expensive. Um, and unless somebody's going to sponsor me on that, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fork out the cash for it. It's really cool looking, um, and I probably would enjoy it. But as of now, I do more wild camping than I do bug out, uh, bug out vehicle stuff. Um, that may change, but uh, I like to mix it up. I like to try new things, and I brought my bushcraft tarp, and we're going to see if we can set up uh, the back end. Um, like the tents. I looked at buying the tents for the hatch, which would uh, offer a lot more room, and it's got the screen, you know, so you can enclose it. But I brought some stuff. We're going to see if we can't rig up our own little tent here, see what we can do with that. And if we can, it just goes to show you the versatility <clears throat> of the bushcraft tarp. Once again, you know, having one item for multiple uses. So let's try that out. I've got water, and I've got 
my uh, vintage cooler that I'm using for to keep my stuff in. And I'll show you what I did there. So what I did is I froze bottles of water and put them in here and that'll keep everything cool for a couple days. And actually, it has done better than I expected. It actually has lasted, you know, a couple days. I thought I would have to buy, as humid as it's been, I thought I would have to buy ice on my way home from class today, but I didn't. There's still frozen bottles of water in there, so I don't have to buy ice. So let me show you this brilliant piece of equipment I bought here. This is a breathable mesh. Actually, it's considered a sun shade, but when you put it on, because it's breathable, it makes... Now I can roll down the window. Let me go ahead and do that. And now I've got airflow. <clears throat> Same thing to the other side. So now we got airflow. So now we're going to see if we can attach the bug net. The infamous bug net. It is big enough, it should fit. So let's see what we can do with this. That actually worked better than I thought it would. And what I'll do is have to secure it in some points. I've got an idea, I've got a trick up my sleeve. These are like business card magnets. It's still in 70 degrees Fahrenheit, so uh, it's not as muggy as it was last night. And I slept last night with the windows down and the screens on there. I didn't have any any bug bites or anything until the next morning when I got up to go walk to the shower house. Anyway, <clears throat> so now I've got a real good airflow. I can cool down the vehicle without worrying about mosquitoes or flies or bugs. <clears throat> so that's gonna be a definite bonus. And again this is the this is the bug net that I use for all my tarp videos. It's the same thing. So you know how many uses can you get out of one item? It's just awesome. Here's our trusty bushcraft uh, tarp that we got on the cheap. If you haven't seen that video, which side? This side? Yeah. I'll put it up here. Or here. I can't remember. Anyway, one of these sides, I'll put the uh, link up to that video. And then you can see how many times I've used that thing. But we're going to use it again. It's supposed to rain tonight at 3 o'clock in the morning. So, probably what I'll do, I'll keep this up, it'll keep the rain off of me. Probably what I'll do is I'll pick this down tonight, shut the hatch, but I'll leave the other awning up so in the morning I'll have somewhere dry to go to. I've got these little bungee cords. And I'm going to attach it. Attach the other tarp. Now this is just a regular tarp, this isn't a bushcraft tarp. So we got crackers, summer sausage, and cheese. This is going to spoil me, I can already tell. A little cutting board. I hung the lantern up. 
I used a little clothing hook and hung my lantern up. Pretty cool. This is definitely uh, minimal, but you know, this is, I mean, this is hard to beat as far as camping goes. A little, bit of a, a little bit of rain, it's not a storm, a little bit of rain, and we're staying nice and dry. And I still have my, still my window open. I got the screen and the awning, so we have airflow, but we're nice and dry. So, this is the last day from my trip. <clears throat> I head home tomorrow. Um, I like the bug out uh, vehicle. I like the idea of it. This vehicle is probably too small for what I need. And I may have already said this, but this this would be a lot easier if I didn't have to go to class. If I didn't have class eight hours a day <clears throat> and I had more time to work on camp. Or if I was just going somewhere in somebody's land and uh, just bugging out there and camping. It's good to know I can do it. I can use this course I can camp anywhere but I wanted to see how this vehicle performed um, you know in extreme conditions uh, if I didn't want to use a tent I wanted to sleep in the car or my vehicle SUV whatever you call it that I know I can so I like the bug out vehicle idea I'm not sure I like this vehicle for bug out um, but I can use it if I have to it also gave me a taste of uh, what the what homeless people go through, people living out of their cars. Man, I really feel sorry for them. Because it's so hard to keep everything together, keep everything clean, everything dry. Um, you know, that that's really survival. So that gives me a different uh, perspective on uh, homeless people that are living out of their cars. But we'll put up the tarp, and we should be able to leave the hatch open most of the night because there's no rain tonight. Um, I could have put another tarp over. I just didn't have time. I didn't want to fool with it in the morning. I didn't want to get up at 5.30 in the morning just to take down camp. It's bad enough I'm getting up at 6. Um, but anyway, I'll throw this tarp up and we'll put the last of our bug out, the last day for our bug out vehicle. Um, and we'll enjoy the evening in the, in the breeze with the hatch open and all the screens in. The screens worked really well. That right there is a lifesaver. That's something I think you can use no matter what vehicle. I mean, that's a great, that's a great option. Be able to have the windows down and not worry about the mosquitoes. Because here in Tennessee, where I'm at, uh, I'm about four hours from home, and yes, ZZ, I probably are close to you, but, and I even thought about that, but I didn't have time to schedule anything with you. I wish I had more time, but I'll make it up to you. Let's put the tarp up. So let me be perfectly honest with you, like I like to be. This is the this is the nature trail, okay? It dead ends. Let's see if you can see. So it dead ends in a landfill. <laughs> uh, it's like construction trash. It's not really a landfill. It's just a lot of construction debris. However, I did find, and I'll show you, a persimmon tree. 
What a glorious find. That one's too ripe. Oh, look at that one. <clears throat> so, oh yeah, found us a persimmon tree. So we'll have some persimmons. Let me set my, let me set my camera down. So all is not lost. We have. really ripe and delicious wild persimmons. So this is two videos that haven't been spectacular, but you know I'm trying new things here. Um, so I'm really anxious to uh, see the comments that you leave on this one. So give me suggestions on what you think I should do or I could do on the cheap. I'm not going to go out and buy an earth roamer or a uh, camper for you know a truck and a camper. I'm not going to do that right now. But what can I do to this to make this better? Give me some suggestions comments below I really appreciate it that last video I shot <clears throat> where I was in the woods and I didn't have a successful day I got a lot of really good positive feedback from that um, is really uh, pleasing very it made me very happy that there are people out there that, that are really uh, so supportive and encouraging so I appreciate that I was trying to encourage others and there was a few comments that said I did encourage them which I was uh, felt blessed to be able to do so but I think I got more out of that. I think I got more encouragement out of that encouragement video. So thanks again to all my uh, viewers and subscribers and to all the comments. Uh, you guys mean a lot to me. Uh, really appreciate uh, all that you do for me. And I'll try to keep making good content. I'll do my best. Uh, you know, this one wasn't great. But we're trying, you know, like I said. So, so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.